In kindergarten, our art teachers introduce us to the elements of art and principles of design. Kindergartners become familiar with art materials and tools. We create patterns using rhythm, repetition, shapes, and objects. We identify and use different types of lines and basic shapes and textures. For example, kindergartners use clay to make textured birds or snowmen. Or we make digital art with a mixed self-portrait animal and jungle scene. In first grade, we add to what we learned in kindergarten. We learn about works of art from art specific artists like Vincent van Gogh. This helps us to learn about history and world cultures. We take a closer look at color theory and composition. We learn how to use elements and principles in our art creations. We make slab boxes and penguins with clay. We use printmaking techniques from styrofoam fish and found objects. In second grade, we begin to think critically about our artwork. We experiment with color mixing and color relationships. We learn to change the size and placement of objects in our creations to show depth. Sometimes our projects connect with what we're doing in science, social studies, and math. When we're learning about Egypt, we create our own hieroglyphs. We make snowflake, rocks resistant paintings that connect to our science lessons. In third grade, we learn about symmetry, balance, and positive and negative space. These art concepts help us build our art vocabulary. We make a positive and negative snow scene. We paint a self-portrait using color mixing for skin and hair tones. We make a tall container out of clay inspired by our studies of Greek and Roman art history. In fourth grade, we expand on the elements of art. We study the Dark Ages, Middle Ages, and the Gothic period of art history. We use an additive clay process and sculpture details to make a gruesome gargoyle. Also, we study a cultural unit on the art of Asia. In learning about the culture and beliefs in India, we apply henna to our own hands to experience Mendy firsthand. In fifth grade, art is a whole new picture. With our partners, we use cameras to create our own photos using the forced perspective technique. We also create stop action movies using toys, Legos, clay, and other objects. We take a picture at each movement of the object. Then we use Movie Maker to edit the photos together into a movie on the computer. In elementary school, we experience art goes to school during art class. Community of volunteers bring paintings, prints, sculptures, and photographs into the classroom. The volunteers guide us in conversation to explore art with look, listen, and feel. It's fun to see the artwork up close. Well, right now we're doing um, tips and tricks with like watercolor, so yeah. Uh, it's just really fun to work with. <laughs> I like the watercolor. You can make it do what you want and make a lot of pretty cool stuff. <laughs> so the art club is, um, it's a club. You go after school and um, so Miss Maurer sets up projects for you, but you don't have to do the projects. You can just free draw. I personally always do the projects, but um, some of my friends don't. All the projects are super fun. I love them. And it's just a really fun place. <laughs> so it's a painting of a soccer ball on a field with a blue sky. Uh, I chose it because like, soccer is my favorite sport, and I really like playing soccer. It makes me feel like really relaxed when I paint and stuff and I draw because it's like I can draw whatever I want and I don't have to worry about like if it looks bad I can just draw it again until it looks good. So this is the um, mug that I made. I kind of wanted it to look like it was like screaming. So like whenever you put something in, it's kind of just like screaming or something. We use stuff like Snapple bottle, bottles to like make the inside the cup and stuff. And like use like the handle like roll out things to clay and like attaches it onto it, like smearing it onto it and such. Um, so Art Media 1 is like learning like basic, basic concepts and skills um, that you can later use in like more 
I guess, harder art classes, and then Art Media 2 is utilizing more of the skills that you learn in Art Media 1 and putting them to work. Um, right now, I guess, the self-portraits, maybe, because kind of, I guess, reflecting how um, I've improved, because I remember doing um, self-portraits in middle school and stuff like that, and I can tell that I've definitely improved. Um, I think in art, it's pretty important that you learn how to make art independently rather than just like, um, like it's important to take criticism from people, but um, I think it's sometimes hard to sort of initiate the process of just doing it and not um, being very anxious about it. Like me personally, I um, have issues with procrastinating sometimes um, in like both what I like to do and what I don't like to do. And um, in honors art at least, it's more about just like um, not holding yourself up with what you want to do, but instead just kind of doing it. And that's one of the more important like skills, not just in art, but in life that I really learned personally. Um, and we do also go over like a lot of the more um, basic techniques, you know, with drawing and painting and such. But I think that that's one of the more skills that holds with you much longer, at least with me personally. So. So one of the things that I love about our mentorship is we get to have like a new kind of like buddy every week and uh, Miss Rhodes, the art teacher, we change it up and we create new projects and I like love working with a different person and knowing more about them each week. No. I thought. <laughs> So Sam likes to create um, his dog, who recently passed, um, his um, mural that he's uh, creating in art mentorship. Um, well, I've been, I went through all three levels of the ceramics class. So the first level is kind of an introduction into ceramics, so how to throw on the wheel, basic techniques like slipping and scoring so that your piece doesn't fall apart. Ceramics 2 is a little bit more independent, you get projects assigned, and then what I'm in this year is Ceramics 3, which is a completely independent study. So some of the skills I'm learning in photography kind of do more with um, enhancing photos and also trying to explore um, more personal parts of myself, like parts I would never have thought to have explored by myself before, and also just trying to go out into the actual world and trying to uh, take real life photos rather than just photos around the school area. So in graphic design one we focused a lot on just learning software, Illustrator, Photoshop, how to make what we wanted and then in two and three it's really cool because we get to work with other people whether it's clients or teammates and learn a lot about how to communicate what we want in a design and how to come to an agreement about what we want the design to look like and create a final product that everyone's happy with. So I'm not someone who's typically interested in the arts. It's not something that I'll necessarily do in the future. So what I appreciate about it is that it provides um, kind of a nice break during the day to do something a little more creative and get away from the typical um, math and science and classes like that and just do something more creative. And you have a lot of freedom to do really whatever you want in the class, which I appreciate. So the National Art Honor Society is a group of people and you have to be very interested in your artwork and very passionate about it. Um, you submit kind of like a resume to it with um, six bodies of work and kind of like an artist statement. You have to get a signature from an art teacher and you have to get into it but once you do, you do about 10 hours of, I guess you'd call it community service using your art talents. It's such a fun little community. Um, so the art club, anyone can join it um, and there's different workshops that you can do depending on what you're interested in and different meetings. I believe they're an IE now so it's more accessible to other students that don't want to stay after school. Um, I believe they, during the winter time they can do mug decorating, there's illustration that they do, um, lots of different little workshops depending on what you're interested in. Um. So the project I'm working on right now, um, it's, I guess you would call it, it's like quote unquote like materiality, is, I guess the, you could call it that. Essentially it's like you're getting a bunch of like random objects and kind of putting them together to make a form. Um, and typically it's more like you don't necessarily have a plan, you kind of just go at it. So that's really what I've been working on. I have like a ton of stuff over there, but um, I really like it because it's really like pushing me to 
uh, like pushing my level of design and my level of creativity, so that's why I'm like really enjoying it. Um, yeah, so right now I'm committed to Jefferson University. Um, and originally I was gonna go for like illustration. I was gonna go to like an art college, but um, I'm going for like industrial design. So that's more um, like the engineering, but not, it's like, it's like art and engineering kind of mixed together, I guess you would say. So um, and I think through my art, like I've kind of, that's kind of where I want to take my art, more like that design route. Um, I'm really into like fashion design, like as of lately. So I see myself maybe being like a footwear designer or um, having like my own clothing brand or something like that. So AP Art is a personal concentration on either 2D, 3D, or drawing. So you get to choose which type of art you'd like to pursue and then you choose your own concentration and there's three categories that it looks at. It's at concentration, so your overall idea, breadth, which is variety of works, and quality. And it's really about working to like perfect your work and perfect the idea behind your work. A lot of my work focuses on making clothes that are tell more of a story as opposed to just being something that you can wear. But I do also like to focus on like like every every piece of my fashion design has like a reason for why it's there. Like a, there's a certain pocket here because it contributes to this part of the story, or like there's buttons on this side because they would need to be there to fit in with like whatever story I'm trying to tell. And I like to just think about the collection of my clothing as a whole as opposed to separate pieces. So the program here is really great and I hope more students get the opportunity to enjoy it.